Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Only intraday update, only an intraday update, only on the one hour time frame. And I can tell you there is not really too much to report. However, I've got uh, one change to the yellow microstructure I want to talk about. I've made that change. I like that idea um, of an ending diagonal in the yellow scenario. Um, but overall, yeah, the, the support level is holding or the support area is holding. The price has even reacted to that support area. And without much surprise, the price is consolidating a little bit because we've had a bit of a rally and we are holding just below a key breakout point. I shared that with you in the previous video today. We have trend lines, especially on the daily chart that are quite relevant, which we talked about in the previous video today. If you're interested in daily chart, check it out but this here is just for the yeah just the intraday update and on this chart you can see that we're still printing higher highs and higher lows that the pullback that we discussed in the previous video here on this one hour chart is still unfolding but also that the support area is still holding and actually the price has reacted to the first key support so to the uh, 23.6 fibonacci retracement there at $66,890 so it's unchanged okay we're holding it we're holding above support and therefore there is no change. So I highlighted to you that as long as we're holding the orange support region, which is defined between 65,200 and $66,890, there is just no, there's no sign we're breaking down or anything. Okay, so we're holding support and the change of, and, and actually, you know, I'd like to see the price go higher directly, especially as long as we're holding support. So a break below that 50% retracement there at 65.2K, a break below would be a first indication things are breaking. Then a break below the red line is further confirmation. It's the previous swing low there at around 64,780. Yeah, and we're holding it, you know, and um, therefore as long as we're holding this, the pathway for higher prices remains, let's say open, and we're printing higher highs, higher lows, so there is no change. There are the two scenarios we're tracking in blue and yellow. Blue could be an impulse, yellow is an ending diagonal. Um, and I'd like it to get towards sort of that 73 and a half to 74 and a half K area highlighted here in sort of gray, white uh, within those blue Fibonacci areas. And this is gonna be an, a relevant area up there. You know, there are some Fibonacci levels that, that overlap in that area around 73 and a half to 74 and a half K. And important is to understand that, you know, I've made a small change to the yellow scenario, which I labeled before as a one, two, one, two setup. Now I've changed it to an ABC in wave one. So a typical ending diagonal, right? So A, B, C in wave one, then we had a wave two, then this would be an A, B, C in wave three, and we could get a wave four and a wave five. And this would complete the entire C wave which started at this swing low on one second on Thursday, the 10th of October. So it's a five wave move up that we're expecting. We're only like halfway through as it seems. And I like to see the price get yeah into that, let's say low to mid 70K region next. Now in the blue scenario, it's a slightly different wave count. Here we have a one, two setup and we're in the third wave in both counts. We're currently in a third wave internally. The only question is, you know, how it's subdividing. The next FIP levels on the micro level are 68,780 and 70K. Um, and actually I would I would prefer if in the blue count, um, we are in wave five of three. To be honest, they are both not very different. And actually also the support levels, they are very, very similar. So I've tried to simplify it and haven't added a second support area. So as long as we're holding that red line, focus can be on higher. The only thing is, okay, that pullback that we've seen today, you know, is this, is this already all of wave B or the internal pullback and we push higher more directly? Or is it simply like an A wave, a B wave and a C wave? We'll have to see, but the support area still should hold in, in both cases here. Yeah. At the same time, any break of support will indicate that something different is going on. That's pretty much already the update about Bitcoin. Not much happened. Um, if you're interested in receiving our newsletter, which I will send out tomorrow, then check out the link in the description. It's just below the video, it's free. There will be again a crypto update, um, an update about a different market like the stock market or the metals market. 
stuff about mindset, um, news about MCO, all sorts of things. So if you're interested, check it out. As I said, it's free. And um, yeah, I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.